Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to free up hard drive space on your computer by deleting temporary files and that kind of thing. So if you're running low on disk space, you might want to give this a shot, or if you just like to keep things clean, you could also do this as well. So if you don't know already how to check your hard drive space, you could open your File Explorer if you have an icon there, or you could right-click on the Start button, go to File Explorer, go to your C drive, or, you know, other if you have another drive, you could check that too. Right-click on it, you can go to Properties if you want to get, like, an overview of use space and free space. And I'll also kind of show you here what you got free. So, to get to the storage settings for where you can make these uh, adjustments and delete files, you want to go to your settings. And under System, go down to Storage. And you'll see it'll start to kind of calculate some <clears throat> numbers here to tell you what's going on, you know, like how much, how much space your apps and features are using. Other people, you know, users on your computer are using if you have other users on there. And then temporary files. And then you also have the storage sense if you want to enable this. It'll kind of do it for you, free up space, and delete temporary files so you don't have to come in here and do it. I like to come do it myself so I could know exactly what's being deleted uh, rather than trust it to do it itself. And then you have uh, some cleanup recommendations here if you run that. So this will kind of show you temporary files how much stuff's you know in your downloads and recycle bin. If you have any super large files, it'll show you that, and your sync files. And then unused apps, it'll find this. So if it found some apps that you don't use and you want to free up some space, you could click on here. It might be a little deceiving, looking like it's going to just you know clean up like data from these apps and not the app itself. But if you click on it, and then click, click on clean up right below it here, 8.79 megabytes, 8.79 megabytes, It'll say the selected app and their data will be deleted. So it's not just deleting the data, it's deleting the app itself. So be careful when using that. Okay, so going back here, you can see your other apps and features, what each one is using. And if you want to click on these three dots here, you can uninstall an app if you want. And the other section just shows you kind of like in your folders what's being used in which folder other people other people are using 4.76 gigs on this computer but if you click on manage other people it doesn't let you delete temporary files from here it just lets you uh, remove that user or you could manage their account type as, as well so it really doesn't have much to do with uh, freeing up space unless you remove the user itself so anyways what I like to do is go to this temporary files location here from the main storage screen here and then you'll see it kind of breaks it down as to how much space is being used by what. And then you could, it kind of gives you some default checkboxes of what it thinks you could delete. I always like to not delete the recycle bin because I kind of keep stuff there just in case I need to get back to it later, but that's up to you. So we're going to oh, we'll check the downloads folder too because I don't need that. So once you figure out which ones you want to delete here, you can click on Remove Files. It tells you how much it's going to remove, 827 megabytes. And it says, Warning, this will include the Downloads folder. Click on Continue. So this might take a few minutes, depending on how much stuff you have left uh, to delete. But in this case, it didn't. So now it's just got this recycle bin. It's the only one left here that has some temporary files. So we've freed up our 872 megabytes, I believe. So once again, from scratch, to click on Start, Settings, under System, go to Storage, and let it, let it do its calculation, and then, you know, play with the settings here just to see what's going on. And then you could go into this Temporary Files thing and delete the uh, selected temporary files you want to get rid of, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.